out, he my friend. Your enemies for bond men and bond women. They show you that in that movie, uh, Birth of a Nation, how they was doing an auction on slaves. Yeah. That's uh, the, the auction block. Yeah. In that movie, uh, they was doing, they was actually doing that, auctioning off uh, so-called Negro. Ah, you just ruined it for me. Yeah, bond men and bond women is just Somebody get your will synonyms free. for slaves. But it says, uh, I got a priest up here. Finish this, finish this. It then. says, and then you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave woman, and no man shall buy you. Mean redeem you. Nobody came and got us out this situation because obviously we still in this devil's hand. Right. Yeah, you brother. said Egypt is what symbolic to slavery or, or bondage. Yeah. This is uh, Exodus 13 and 3. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which he came out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Oh God. Read that again. I'm, it was coming. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says, and Moses, and Moses said unto the people, remember this day in which he came out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Yeah, out of the house of bondage. It's, it's, it's saying, it said Egypt, and it said out of the house of bondage. So it was referring Egypt to a house of bondage. Yep. House of slavery. Word for it, bondage is slavery. Yep. It's, like, yeah. it's like when you go to the doctors, when they say, it's like, uh, hey, have you been to the doctor? They say, no, I hate needles. Because what's at the doctor? Needles, man. Mm -hmm. So when they said Egypt, they said, oh, slavery. Because that was the first thing that came to their mind. Because it was so rigorous of slavery, you know? So when, uh, 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 so in uh, that scripture where it says, you shall go into Egypt again, it, they will automatically think, oh, slavery, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. It would make it so wild, because even back then, when we was coming out of Egypt, it was Jake's who wanted to stay in Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had we yeah, had they, the they millions and the and the onions. Mm -hmm. So likewise today, you gonna have you gonna have uh, our people who want to stay in America. Man. Yeah, you got you got our people now. That's Moses so, so, brought us out here to die. Moses. Right, exactly. So we got people now right. to this day. We ain't got, got no America. food, Moses. They can't see. <laughs> you know, I was yelling at Moses. Hey, after that great deliverance, man, when the Lord parted the ocean, man, okay, and they walked through on dry land, you know, a nigga always, that's how you know that's our people, man, because a nigga always going to be talking, talking mess, man. Mm -hmm. no. Hey, that's how you know it's talking about our people, man. Because only a nigga going to do that, man. Like, only, it's hot out here. I need some water. It wasn't you know, like, yeah. right. you complain, man. Here you is, you eating the manna. You eating yeah. angel's bread. Yeah. But yeah, we need meat, quail. Then yeah. it yeah. you with it. Yeah, then yeah, yeah, you complain about that. Yeah. Talking about that's all we got to do is the battle. Hey, Moses did all that. He struck the rock of oil. You got any questions? Water flowing up the rock. He got some questions. Okay. He asked me, I don't know. Go ahead, what's your question? Um, okay. I mean, do y'all understand so far? Oh, yeah, okay. I heard it. I heard it. Zebulon, Jesus. Speak up so I can hear you. Uh, I was just asking. Because, you know, some people get offended when they say African-American and stuff like that. But if... Okay, well, let me let me give you... Egypt uh, is in Africa. Watch this. Let me okay. give you this. First of all, two dog nations of people, but we're, we're not of the same people. That's why when we were, when, uh, we were going into slavery or brought into slavery, the, the Ethiopians and people of that nature that you would think of that are the Africans, they had no problem because of the fact when you when you read these scriptures, especially when you go to the book, when you go into the book of when you go into the book of Judges, Joshua, which took over uh, rulership for the nation of Israel after Moses died, his commandment was to go and, and procure the land for the Israelites. Joshua put to death 31 kings. They was all Africans of that nature. So when they come looking for us in slavery, it's like if me and his brother's dog, but his people, which I know are a different line of people, was killing my people off continuously. And, and, and not, I mean, slaughter totally. And I, I show up with 18, 19,000. He show up with five or 600 and put all us to death, okay? Time and time and time again. When I finally get somebody to come and say, I want, I want some slaves, I want to get at somebody, but I don't really want you. Who you think I'm gonna turn them on to? This group of people. 
that's who we are, the Israelites. Because what's, what, what, what's fully your question? Yeah. What's, what, like, what do you mean get offended with African American? What's, what's your question fully? I mean, like, why do they get offended when? No, 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 because you, African American is actually the name of two white men. And then I will ask you this: Where, where is black people from? Please. I mean, because uh, somebody, okay, say somebody will come and say I'm from Europe. Be like, oh, you're from Europe? Where from in Europe? Oh, I'm a German from Germany. I speak German. Mm -hmm. You say, oh well, I am a black person. Oh, what, what land you're from? Uh, but 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 United States is a uh, it's a it's a molten pot of different. It's, it's not a it's not a, a, a nation of people. It's many nations of people that stay here. Don't they call this the melting pot? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So so so, so so like what the Bible deal with is nationalities, nations. Because every other nation is named after the people. Russia it has the Russians. Uh, uh, Africa, the so-called Africans. You know, but, but but see even even with that, because Africa is a continent. Like when some when you ask somebody, uh, uh, I'm from well, where are you from? I'm from Europe. Where are, where at in Europe? Yeah. They gonna specify. Well, I'm from Ireland. Yeah. You know, or I, I'm from I'm from Spain. Yeah. I'm Africa. from I'm from Turkey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So we're black. We're from you see we we're from Israel. Yeah. Oh, Israel, we're from Israel because Israel, black, Israel. black, black, black is a color. Israel, Israel is not in Israel, Israel a country. Egypt, oh. Egypt is in Africa, yeah. which Africa is a continent. Yeah, Israel is not in Africa. Oh. It's connected. Oh. It's connected to the same land mass. We, uh, what you would say, yeah. but it, it's not in Africa. Actually, Israel, what you would call the Middle East. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Exactly. exactly. And that's where we're from. That's where we originated. Because in uh <laughs> nice fingers, boy. Because in um in 70 AD, we escaped Roman persecution because they destroyed our temple and we fled into Egypt. Just like the Messiah, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shot. That's his name in a pure Hebrew. When he was a child, he fled into Egypt, mm -hmm. escaping from Herod. Now Egypt isn't where? In Africa. Africa is full of what? Black. What you would call black people. Now I got this Zondervan's uh, uh, Bible Dictionary, yeah. which is, um, it gives the definition of ham. Yeah. Ham is, um, it's gonna explain it. Which I'd like okay, to say so, something like so that. So you understand that the earth at one point time was flooded, right? Yes. Everybody, everybody died, right? Yeah. Except for Noah, his sons, and their wives. Yeah. And um, isn't that, um, Exactly. Oh, they, was on the boat. they brought all the animals on with them and this, that, and that. Exactly. So, so this is a, a scholar that's breaking down those, those families and, and, and how to how to just purpose. one just one family particularly. Right. One. Particular this is uh, the youngest son of Noah. This is definition of Ham. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood, because Noah survived his three sons, Shem, Ham, Japheth, and their wives. It says, he became, who is he? Ham. Ham became the progenitor, which basically means the father. Mm -hmm. Ham became the father of the dark races, not the Negroes. Not, not, not the Negroes. Not these people on this side. Boom goes the dynamo. No. Not the Negroes. Not the, not the great people like Michael Jordan, Floyd Mayweather. You know, our people produce great people. That's why we're the Israelites. These are the children of Ham, you know? And back to the point, like uh, Pops was making earlier, he said uh, how they was taking us from, uh, from from the west coast of Africa. And basically, the way you can tell the difference is we're basically different from them. Our men grow full beards. Our women are shaped different from theirs. So, and we wore the ancient garments. So it wasn't hard to point out an Israelite way. That's the Israelite right there. Women are like them. You know what I'm saying? Because we wore stuff like this in the ancient world. This is part of our culture. And this man, whether you can remember it or not, when, when he finally got into power and he came to America to get uh, uh, money, and they asked, they asked him a specific question. They said, we know you're over here to get money to take back to your country and this type of thing. But what about the American Negro? He said, I am here to procure money for my people. Those people got their own problems. He drew the line. The same way when Obama went over to Africa with Michelle, he said, this is the place where they put Michelle's people in slavery. 
Right. And, and we hold and we hold we holding the Joel. We holding the scriptures. You know what? And and, and yeah, another, another way out. another way to know the difference is they haven't produced anybody great out of Africa. <laughs> Who have they produced in the Olympics? In the Olympics that's great. Who have they produced in boxing, the boxing world? Nobody. In basketball. Nobody. Yeah, it's funny, like when you look at all all like the, the Olympics, the, the all the all the great players as well. From the U.S. Let's get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, another thing. I can tell differently. Huh? Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. This is Exodus 1 and 19. It says, And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women, the Israelite women, are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively. And are delivered, ere the midwives come in unto them. So the, our women, us Hebrew, uh, our Hebrew women, are more livelier than the heathen women. Yeah, more spirited. They're more spirited, spirited just like the men. Yeah. We're more animated. We're more. We're more. Mm -hmm. We we got the salt. Huh? We got. No no no. I know you can tell the difference between the African and the black person. Of course. Uh, how? Another thing though, like hey, some, some African men sleep with Israelite women, so it's hard to tell the difference. Or yeah. some Israelite men sleep with African women. So you gotta really it's about the, the bottom line you gotta try the spirit. Yeah. You gotta know like how your people how they move, how they how they get into things, like like their their, their movements. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you see some guy walking all stiff. Like, <laughs> no bounce, no swag, no nothing. Yeah. We want, we want that bop. We, we got no bounce, no swag. I got, I got some. We, yeah. 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 Hey, the scripture said we the salt of the earth. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what happens when you don't season something? What happens if you eat soup? Say if you made a, a mushroom soup or, or a broccoli soup. If you, if you don't put no salt in that soup, it's not gonna taste good. It's gonna be flavorless. It's gonna be yet yeah, bland. So we, our people add the flavor in things. Mm -hmm. Everybody mocks us. Yeah. We the trendsetters, man. We, we the top of the, the, the line. They got a saying, everybody want to be a nigga, but don't nobody want to be a nigga. Right. You know? Hey, hey, our people go out and do the, do the, do the whip nay nay. Everybody doing it now. You know, white people in Catholic school, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? But look, so, so it says he became the father of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. See, yeah, scholars know that. Yeah. Scholars know that we're not Africans, man. Because we come, up, we come out a different sun. The, the earth was <laughs> repopulated through Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The real Africans come out of Ham. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We come out of Shem. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? We more closely related to the so-called white men than we are to Africans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we come out of the same line. Yeah. Matter of fact, we had Genesis 25. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? And you know what? Because y'all going off skin color. Yeah. It don't, it don't yeah. matter the skin color. Yeah. yeah. Because, because we because have they, what's called binos. I got binos. That. They call us Africans. You know they call us Africans, but yet it's Arabs and East Indians that's darker than us. Why ain't they called blacks or Africans? They still continue to be called, oh, that's an Arab. Or, oh, that's an East Indian. But why why aren't they called black or why aren't they called Africans? You know? Because they not neither one. And, and you know what? And it's a scripture in the Psalms that says that all the other nations know who you are. So that's why they put so the abominable foods over here and have our people going off and say it's a great milk pot. But when those people come over with their visas, they tell them who the Negroes are. That's why they when they set up these gas stations and stuff in these neighborhoods, they know exactly who you are. We we actually witnessed going over the palace. They know the history. We'll cut out a real Jew. They, they know. The know. Right, I've been over there in that land and I've been told that I was an Israelite. And one thing yeah, I've, I've been to, I've been to uh, 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 the Middle East. You know, I, I had people tell me, "Son yeah. of Jacob," yeah. before I even knew about the truth you know, or who I was. I was like, "Son of Jacob, who is Jacob?" <laughs> we dealt with an Israelite like last week at camp. I'm like, "Man, hey, because uh, you, you Ishmael, you son of Ishmael." He said, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. And I said, "Yeah, we we, we son of Isaac, right. son of Jacob." He said, "Oh, yeah." yeah. 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 You know? They know. <laughs> they know. Yeah. We've had older camp. I've had older camp when we were on State and Van Buren. Walk up and we go hey, through it and, and this that and the other. Is that you know you're from the line of Ishmael. Yeah. Uh, you're from the line of Isaac. Uh, 
And one thing you said, you don't call yourself African American, which is good because it's the name of two so-called white men. Africa was named after Af uh, Scipio Africanus, which was a uh, Roman general. America was named after America Vespucci, which is another white man. Yeah, yeah, he was a, he was a, uh, a, a philanthropist and whatnot that that uh, sponsored some of the. Uh, Voyages over here. Yeah, right. So you calling yourself African American? You calling yourself too Double white? white. Right. So white. then you said you calling yourself black. Have you ever yeah. seen the movie with Malcolm X, with Denzel Washington? Yeah. You, he looked up the, uh, the definition. He looked up black. How black was negative, right. void of light. How yep. it was dirty yep. and yeah. death. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then he looked up white. How it was pure and mm -hmm. innocent. Because that's how they played. Yep. It, it, it's word games. They call themselves white when they actually, they not white. They actually red. Right. But they call themselves white. Why do they call themselves white? Because they say that they're the pure race, that they're the innocent race, that they're the righteous race. Yeah, white. Why do they call us white black? White his t-shirt. You ain't never seen a white person that look like that. And, or you never seen a, a black, uh, white person. Uh, uh, a nigga that look like this. Yeah. You know? So they call us black because that's the label they put on you. So then when you think of black, you think of void Somebody of light, you think of negative, you think of uh, basically darkness. I got I, I got a few, by word. So when you call in, oh, yeah. yeah, Deuteronomy 28, by word. So we Hebrew Israelites, man, that's who we are. You know, our, our, our power our power comes from Yahweh, which is, that's the name of the father. And Yahweh Shai, Hebrew. which is the name of the son. In pure Hebrew. In the pure Hebrew. Because there's only one way to be saved from what's coming. Because what's coming to this place is nuclear destruction, right? We can, we can go in the school through that. This place, this, this place is going to be destroyed by I see. Which one of y'all brothers holding the missile fire? Bring that over here. Bring this place, this place is going to be destroyed by ICBM nuclear fire. Now, I would ask y'all, have y'all been watching the news? But I would say, have y'all been watching the news overseas? Because the American news ain't showing you shit. What's going on overseas? Russia and America, they, they already engaged in, in, in war already. That's hey, right. hey, China, Korea. Hey, 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 this morning, last night, it was an article that uh, America and Iran is, is, is trading fire. fire yeah. right now. That's, that's, right, right now. Well, well, that's ask, biblical. Let me ask them, what do you know about what's going on in the Middle East? So, so you're unaware that Russia just pulled a four-day drill with 40 million people. 40 million three days. that they housed for three days in oh. nuclear shelter bunkers. See, because all these other 40 nations. million. Do you do you realize how big of an, an endeavor 40 million? They could have been around this. 40 million people was put in a nuclear survivable bunker and given food and water and shelter for three yeah. days. Do you understand how big of a, a, a project that is? Yeah. Okay. Because they prepare for something. They prepare some, for some serious. That 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 the American government is not preparing you people. That's right. Because yeah, because this government actually is selling everybody out. Because guess what? They they're they're with what's going on. Our government and, and, and uh, Russia's government are they're actually just trying they're trying to bring on this nuclear destruction. Yeah. And they're not telling you. They're not telling you. Because because what it is, man, they 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 gonna crash this dollar and they gonna implement right. the chip. Come on. You what they what they call the mark of the beast. We brother getting the scripture right here. I was saying that on Facebook the other day. That's right. Go ahead, 13, 16. This is right. See, that's spiritual. You've seen that the Lord, the Lord always gives you a sign. He got it right there. And the Lord always gives you a sign before you. That's right. They're going to put all your information on that and then hook that to all the computer bases. Yeah, yeah, and it's so, basically it's basically gonna be like GPS. Right. You know, it's gonna be like a tracking device. So this you, is like you, for real. It's, yeah. it, it's yeah. everything. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's, it's Obama signed in the Obama signed in the bill. Obama signed in his health care bill on a thousand and like third or fourth page of that bill. It talks about that in the bill. Hey, 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 you know what? Hey, I was at my job the other day, right? And I answered the phone, and it was this company called the Chip. Right, <laughs> and they, they, they was asking us, well, what kind of cards y'all take? But I'm in here, I'm, I'm and they ask oh, all, all this stuff, and then I'm like, what's the name of the company again? They like the chip. I'm like, damn, I'm like, cause they, they're trying to rev it up to get people to yeah. take it incorporated. And Obama man. a real African. And they ask him like, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, his dad is a Kenyan, which makes him an African. With the <laughs> difference between Ham and Shem that he just read. Hey. If you don't believe us, watch that, watch, go on YouTube and watch that nigga dance on. Watch him play <laughs> basketball. The degenerate, the degenerate 
what is it, Ellen Degenerate. Yeah, that's good. That's that's her name. That's it, bro. That's her name. Go ahead, go ahead, Katie. Let's get this revelation. Let's get the revelation. Go ahead, bro. That's the point. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And it says, and he calls all, both small and great. Who is he? He is the beast, which is this, which is this uh uh this Roman system. Because this is the Roman system revised. Because back in Rome, they had the patricians and the plebeians, which was the Democrats and the Republics. Yep. They had a Democrat back in Rome, just like Americans founded off those same principles as Rome was. 